Okay, today's video is going to be about setting up Minikube, and we're going to set it up and deploy a sample application to it so we can see how it works. This is the uh, Minikube web page where it talks about installing it and all that good stuff. So uh, we'll go through and take a look at it. Now, first, we need to find the GitHub uh, repository for Minikube so that we can download it. And here we are. And we're running Linux, so we'll need to copy this curl command and run it on our local system. Just gonna paste it in there and then run it. Need sudo access, so we'll put in our sudo password. All right, so now we have it installed. Look at the quick start, and when we start it up, we don't just do a mini cube start. We need to associate it with a VM driver. I'm using VirtualBox on this system, as we can see here. So I need to use the VM dash driver equals VirtualBox. So I go ahead and copy that. And we'll do a mini cube start. Paste in our parameter. Dash dash VM dash driver equals VirtualBox. And we'll start it up. It'll take a minute to download or so. Yeah, we can see it running in VirtualBox. Doing its thing. It does a couple of other processes in order to get the Minikube instance stood up. So we'll just wait for it. All right, and it's done. It says Cube Control is now configured to use this cluster. Uh, that's uh, a little misleading because, as we'll see here in a second, Cube Control isn't installed. Uh, so we'll need to install it on the cube control page. There's a curl statement there. So we'll curl it and install it. And now we have it available. Now we can do a cube control cluster info and see that we got our, our mini cube is up and running. Our Kubernetes instance. Let's clean things up and look at it again. So, yep, still running. Now we want to expose the dashboard. And in Minikube, we can do that easily by typing in Minikube dashboard and it automatically load it in your default browser. And here we go. So, there's our Kubernetes instance. We can look around. Not really much to see here. Standard Kubernetes stuff. If you've ever seen Kubernetes before, you might notice that some stuff is missing. Some of our graphs and stuff. So if I uh, go and load my own Kubernetes instance that I installed with Moss, we'll see you got some pretty graphs here, and our pods show some other graphs and stuff. So ingress controllers, and there's a lot more stuff configured. But uh, Git Minikube is just used for development purposes on your local system, so she can test deploying stuff out uh, an application that you're working on to it. So there's our instance, and now we'll move on to making our app. So I have a directory under my development directory called cube where I created an admin tome directory to house all my sample app. Uh, this sample app is just making an HTML file and we're going to put it in a Docker container so that we can see it 
and make it look pretty. So you can see we got HTML folder. We're going to edit that uh, index.html, see what it looks like. It's just a basic HTML file, really, really simple. We're just going to set the title and set an H1 header and include an image source. So it shows the admin tone logo. Uh, again, it's just to mimic what a developer would do if you're testing locally. If I have to write a HTML web page, I could do my testing this way and push it out to a mini cube for, to make sure to work with a production Kubernetes. So now we're going to look at the Docker file that we can use to build this. We're going to pull from the Nginx Docker container. And basically, we just copy everything in our HTML folder, which is just our index.html to user share in Genix HTML. Pretty simple stuff. So we need to use the uh, Minikube Docker environment so everything works smoothly. So we're going to do an eval statement here to load that. And shouldn't get anything back, but it's good to go. We're going to do a docker build dash t with our uh, name of our image that we want to do. And I left this in here. I was going to edit it out, but it's just a reminder don't forget that stupid period. I always do it. So I've already built it, so it went by super fast, uh, but it may take a little bit longer on yours. So now we're going to look at our, we're actually going to run it, deploy it to our mini cube. So we're going to do cube control run admin tome is going to be the name of our deployment. And then our image is going to be our Docker container, colon v1. And of course, since it's just regular Nginx, it's going to expose on port 80. So we're going to do a dash dash port equals 80. And it says our deployment admin tome is created. Let's look at our dashboard and we'll take a look. It may take a bit to actually get updated. There's our deployment admin tome. Back on overview, and yep, there's our deployment admin tone. And we can also look at the you can use kube control to, to look at the same stuff, so we'll do that here. Kube control get deployments, and there's our admin tone deployment. And we need to expose it so we can access it. Keep control exposed, name of our deployment, admin tome. And we're going to put in what type uh, that we want to access it with. And here it's going to be a load balancer. Now, normally in a cloud environment, if you have, you have uh, Kubernetes set up, it's going to have uh, the, the cloud provider is going to have a load balancer set up for you. We don't have one here, but we do have it because we have it running in a virtual box container. So that's why it shows pending here. In order to simulate a load balancer with Minikube, uh, we can just use Minikube to, to expose it for us so that we can access it. So we'll do Minikube service and admin tome. What you'll do is see it'll pop up a web browser and there we go. Our website deployed. So that's a simple introduction into Minikube and how I can use it locally to test out your uh, containers and throw them in a local instance of Kubernetes. Uh, it's a pretty trivial matter to get it into your, your lower lifecycle Kubernetes for further testing and then up into your de production deployment of Kubernetes. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please check out my other videos on YouTube. Check out my channel, Admin Tome, and, and be sure to check out my blog at uh, www.admintome.com. Oh,